Hello guys, after a long time, Codezoom is back. We are going to present a .NET Core video series. In this video, we will show the uses of CLI and GUI. Then what is CLI? CLI is a text-based way of interacting with your computer or development environment. We will type command into a terminal or command prompt to see, to show the uses of CLI. Now, there are some key features of CLI. Number one, text-based interaction, then precision and control, resource efficiency, cross-platform, command-driven, automation-friendly, and lightweight. There are, some, there are some common uses or common use cases of CLI. Number one, development, then automation, then remote management. Now, we are going to show some CLI commands, .NET Core CLI commands. Number one, .NET New, to create a new project, .NET Run, to create a .NET Core application, .NET Build, to build the application, .NET Publish, to publish or deployment the application, then .NET Test, then .NET Add Package, to add a new package, package to your project. Then, the list of tasks, what we are going to show you in this video using .NET Core CLI. Number one, we'll create a new console application, a new web application, then an empty web application, then a new web API. Then we will build this application, run this application, and publish this application and we also add packages to our application and we also add a solution file to our application and all of these list of tasks we will do using GUI and here is my command prompt and it is my project folder now I'm going to create a .NET Core console application. First of all, I'll have to type .NET then new then I will have to type what type of project I'm going to create. I'm going to create console project and type console. and type the name of the console project first console app okay I'm going to create it then a console application has been created let's see the folder see a .NET Core console application has been created. Now we're going to create a um, .NET Core empty web app. Then type dot .NET new. What type of project? empty web app, right? So, we will type web only hyphen and then first empty web empty web app has been created then we are going to create a web application .NET Core web application .NET new
I need it first wait for it. And we have created a .NET code for the application. Now let's see how to get a .NET code web API. Dot .NET new web API and first web API. And then done. We have created a different core web API. Now it is time to build the projects that we have created. Different core build command is the same for all sort of projects, all sort of solution applications. For console application, for web application, or for web API application, different build is the same. First of all, we are going to build our console application. Let's redirect the console application folder. Type dot net new file. It might be succeeded. Since all build commands are the same for all sort of projects. We are not going to show another build commands. Now it is time to run our project. First of all, we are going to run this console application. Our console application runs successfully and it is giving us hello world. Next, we are going to run our empty web application. We are going to redirect the folder. It is building then our MPO web application run. See what it is showing. Five one, five one. Okay, it's giving me hello world. That means my project is running. That means my run, run command uh, is successfully working. Right. Now my project is running, but I'm not um, getting uh, my folder directory to execute the next command. Then I need to I need to stop my project. How can I do it? If I press Control C, then this this command will Pause my project and give me the project directory. Control C. I'm pressing Control C. Then my project, then my application closed. If I refresh the browser again, and it will not give me anything. It is not giving anything because my project stopped. Now I am going to run my web application. Let's redirect. Let's redirect the project folder. 
डॉट नेट रन इट इज बिल्डिंग दिस कमांड रन माई प्रोजेक्ट एंड रन माई वेब एप्लीकेशन द पोर्ट फाइव वन डबल फाइव लेट्स सी वॉट इज गिविंग फाइव वन डबल फाइव Yes, it is working. My project is running now, and it is giving me this output. Now I need to close my project. Then I am going to press Control plus C. Then my project is stopped. Let's refresh the browser. Now it is not giving anything because my project has been stopped. Let's run my API project. Deselect the project folder. Then, as as well, dot net run. Okay, it is working and. I can use this using this port five zero double four five zero double four. Then our run command, our dot net run command is done. We have completed our dot net run command. Now we are going to show how to add a package to our project. Let's type add package command dot net add ये add package let's we are going to add package name Newton Jason Newton Soft Jason from soft dot j s one Suppose we are going to add this package to our web application. Then done. Let's see where is our Newton JSON, Newton Soft JSON package. Let's open our application. Look, Newton Soft Dot JSON. This package has been added to our project. And this is how you can add a package. Do you project using .NET Core CLI? Look, there is issue here. There is no solution file in our web application project. When you use GUI like Visual Studio, then Visual Studio automatically generate a solution file for your project. But when you use CLI, no solution file has been generated. Using CLI, we can add a solution file to our project. Let's add a solution file to our project. Dot net new. What is we are going to add solution? Then the command is s l n hyphen n. The name the solution file. Let's we are giving to name the solution file first way then. Then 
a solution file has been added to our project. Let's see. This is our solution file. This is our solution, but there is no project added to this solution. Okay, let's add our project to our solution. Dot net sln add dot c s e r o g okay Okay, maybe our folder directory is wrong. Let's try it again. Dot net sln add. Okay. Slash fast web. Okay, now it worked. That means our project has been added to our solution. Let's turn our solution now. Let's see the solution folder directory. Uh, now this is my solution and this is my project that means my project has been added to my solution done okay and finally we are going to publish our project let's publish our web application project let's create a publish folder here And type the command for publish net publish hyphen c release hyphen o then the publish folder directory Okay, our project has been published. Now you can copy it to the server like IIS server or Azure or somewhere else. And that's all in this video about CLI. And all the tasks we have done using CLI, we can do all these tasks using GUI. Through all our .NET Core video series, you will see how to use GUI and how to complete all of these tasks using GUI. Thank you.